Alright. This is where we need good elevator music. I want that guy to come back to tell me to maybe do a quiz show. That was fun. I remember that. I enjoyed it. Oh, we are still going down. Let the game heard me. Chat! I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Next time, we're going to go into there and head into the labyrinth. For probably the second to last part. Yeah, I'll see you guys for that next time. Uh, I might go raid? Yeah, we will. Okay. Let's do this. Chat. Last time, James descended a lift. He has been descending for a great deal of time. James has had a very bad experience so far. There's, I actually have a few nitpicks. Nothing too major, but while I've enjoyed Historical Society, I think some of the scares and the ambience are a little bit dampened by the lack of flavor text. Because you can't walk up to things and like let, and talk about what they say, it kind of makes the atmosphere a little bit more like a roller coaster than it does like kind of leading on with dread. And the prison itself, because of how high energy the prison was in terms of the monsters and just constantly being scared, it meant that the more sort of jump scares that occurred in the historical side of the original game did not work as well. The bathroom comes to mind. It worked a little bit, because I didn't expect it. But for the most part, the reason why it worked so well in the original was because those were fixed encounters. And those rooms had their own music, their own style going into them. They had their own loading screens, everything. And so going in there, you're like, okay, what what is this room going to hold? In this game, because it's all transitional, it's a lot less spooky in that regard. But saying that, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's still being well handled. I enjoy the elevator ride down. And I'm enjoying it so far. This is a game, anyway. And now we're in the labyrinth. I thought they were going to cut the labyrinth out because we had the innocence puzzle earlier on. But no. And by the way, that puzzle, I failed hard on it. I did not know what was going on until at the last second. So yeah, welcome everyone to the labyrinth. This is, um... Pretty scary of a location. We have no map for this place, do we? I love the ambience down here. It's almost like we're below, like, those, uh, massive... Oh! He, inter he interacted with my stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, 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 no. I don't like that at all. I, I got... I, I, because I had to restart everything, I do need to do some small things. So give me a sec. We'll just sit in this lovely corridor for a second. If I'll turn around so you guys can have a look. Isn't this lovely? <laughs> I'm sure there's not going to be any awful creatures that are going to show up to ruin my day. I'm not going to descend any stairs and end up getting eaten by a pyramid thing. A red pyramid thing. I have found out something that I think some fans are going to be sad about. I don't mind. But I'll talk about it when we get there. If we do go there, that is. And then we'll continue from there. But yeah, this is a, this is uh, technically the next area after the prison itself. This is the the um, the labyrinth, as it is called in the game. Good morning, flower, and I believe in you not getting eaten by a pyramid head man. Well, you say that, Ariel. We are like in the only part in the game where he does appear randomly. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> the bosom, the bosom of a man later identified as Thomas. Oro, Lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the lying face down. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp edged ob weapon. The weapon, the estimated time of death, was somewhere between 11pm and 12.30 midnight. 
She decides to struggle in the room with a lack of a murder weapon. People are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Yes, bosom, not body. <laughs> Listen, let's not joke this man. Uh, and had a history of drunkenness and violence. The police detected that was not a robbery. It was a crime of... Sorry, he was dead. Ripped to that guy. Yeah, he's dead. De defeated. Murdered by a sharp object. Uh-oh. Oh, chat. Uh, content warning. This is a pretty hard scene. Angela? Yeah, this is... A, I would actually give a content warning for the scene because it's probably the the darkest scene in the entire game and that's okay saying something considering what this game subject matter is I mean, I mean there was also a scene where angela was you know holding a knife next to a mirror but i would say that this is a little worse is this gonna be a boss fight <laughs> nice ready it's trauma angela i like the stickers do I still have my... There we go. I still got my It's Trauma sticker. Oh my god, I can't believe they put the It's Trauma sticker, it's trauma sticker on everything, chat. I remember at one point I said I was going to do Silent Hill Ascension during this October. I was going to do some more episodes of that, but I decided against it because I didn't want to ruin my experience of this game. I'll be good, I promise. Hi. Tell him I'll be good, please. Angela? Where's the holes on the walls? Where's the pulsating Angela, holes? it's me. I think I can just about see them. No. Please. If you remember last time we encountered Angela, we were talking about, um... Daddy! A little girl. Oh, God! <laughs> ah! Oh, lovely. Oh my goodness! You're, you're beautiful! Oh, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're going, we're going, we're going. James, we're running, James, we're going, James, we're going. What the fuck? This is a chase sequence. This isn't happening in the original game. Uh, 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 back rooms. This is a chase sequence, isn't it? Oh, no, okay, this is a boss fight. Okay, got it. Oh, the music right now. Why I say music. Ah, my face. Ah! <laughs> Did not like that. Did not like that at all. Please, this fun hide and seek of daddy. I know. Oh, he's like destroying the terrain. Fuck that. Where's grenades when you need them? Okay, it is hurting him. You can hear him like recoiling from it, at least. Okay, run, James. Run, he's gonna charge towards you. <laughs> Hello! I missed the pulsating walls, to be fair. We gaming, chat. We gaming. Yeah. I like how he's a kind of a door and also a scary piece of plywood. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit weird. I don't know how I would describe him, but considering Angela and her terrible experience with abuse, unfortunately, um... That thing being like a weird bed flesh creature. There's a lot to unpack there. And yeah, it, it's a bit weird. Angela, come back. Oh, wait, that makes more sense. Yeah, it could also be plywood. Maybe he was a carpenter. 
Also, that thing is not dead. That thing is 100% alive. I hope we go to the pulsating flesh room. Uh, room? W room? Room, flower. Room. Use your R's. Oh? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I can go this way? Whoa. What's going on? Wait, wait, Angela, come back. Boom. Yeah, you know. the. Oh, oh shit, no! No! <laughs> this is, a. Uh... Yeah, this is pretty fucked, chat, I will say. I think I know what that is. I think that's James yelling at Mary. Or maybe it's Angela? Oh, where also where are we going right now, game? Where are we going? Because this is a TV. It's just a TV. Oh, okay. Silly Billy. I've already fought you. Daddy's back. He sure is. Can we leave? No. I'm just going to go through here. Oh. I don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> Can I kill daddy? Is that an option? No way, I'll be saving here. Next to Angela's teddy bear. Oh, she's probably hidden here, right? Like that, that's what the game's implying. That's sad. He seems a bit protected by a plot armor, not, but not sure. He is a little bit, isn't he? I don't, yeah, I don't think we can kill him here, which is not my favorite way of doing a chase sequence. Like, if I can kill him, let me kill him. If I can't kill him, don't let me kill him. Okay, game? Just tap, just, oh, oh, look at this. The Silent Hill meat fan. Is he coming? Get, you're entering the scary meat dimension. I don't think we've ever left. We've been in the scary meat dimension for like the last couple of hours. Um, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> I don't mind it. But this is very blooper team. Very like chase sequence hitting a TV and going. I like the original game and how quick it was. I think they're making this longer than it needs to be. But it's, it's a different way of handling it, I will say. I just think it loses a little bit of credibility when he just we're just being chased by this bed. Oh, oh, oh my god, my game's like lagging his mind seeing this. Oh, given dead by daylight arena it is a little bit. I mean, there is a there is a Silent Hill map, Midwich uh, Elementary School. I forget like, that's the other world version, this is the regular world one. Right. I would, um. Oh, oh, oh! The walls! The pulsating walls! Yay! I'm so glad they're here. The fuck is this? What is going on right now? Chat! I'll take that. I like that it's becoming like a weird mechanical hellscape. That's very Silent Hill 3. Okay, now I think we're fighting him.
That he was a mechanic, clearly. I don't want you to cut on me, thank you very much. I am in the red right now. I am in the red. I'm in the red. I'm in the red. In the red. In the red. In the absolute red. James? 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 Hurts. I don't want to get huddled. I'm in the red again. <laughs> okay, I'm not, but I'm close enough. James? Switch to the gun. Oh, James. James. Shame. Can we, like, not right now, Shame? You load a gun. Oh, me! Twat. Oh, we're gonna go to the pistol now, I think. Jesus Christ! Ow! My fucking body! You done? No. There you go. Pleasant boundaries, Dad. I don't know if it is, James. I'm not. I just... It's okay. It's over. Don't even try. Try what? Like you don't know? I see what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. What? Angela, please. Lie. Go ahead. Say it. Oh. Or you could just force me. <laughs> like he always did. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't know who you think I am, but I don't want to hurt you. The face right now, James. I just want to get my Mary back. Your Mary. Your own little Mary. At least she was. For a while. Hmm. What? Yep. Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. I want to lose it right now. No. You probably oh. found someone else. No. to find my mama. Oof. Probably not the best to say oof after something like that, actually. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I never... Yeah, well, I know, James. I, I generally do think he wouldn't, but... You're right. You're right, James.
Yeah, I'm a bit wounded after that as well, to be fair. Just feed the abstract daddy. That's what it's called, chat. The abstract daddy. So, I don't, again, just like the hospital scene, I don't think I need to explain what was going on there. But I, what I will say is I like that they changed it a little bit. They put a lot more emphasis on the the saddest part of that scene. In the original game, the voice actor knocked it out of the park in that scene. Which is weird, because I, I don't think the voice actor was bad at all. But as I found out recently, they were trying to do an American accent while also being Australian. So, they they couldn't. <laughs> and it ended up making some scenes really difficult, but they nailed that scene. Which is probably the most important scene to nail. Um, but yeah, then the last part about how James... Would he go and find someone else if he lost his wife? His Mary, for a while, and then go and look for someone. I, I would say... I would hazard a guess to say that James wouldn't do that. At least my game, anyway. I think James cared too much for his wife. That was a well done scene. Good job, V-Make. It was. Have you played the original game, Ariel? I think I remember you and Pacey talking about playing Silent Hill 3. But I wasn't sure if you also played Silent Hill 2. But that was good. I really enjoyed that. V-Make is knocking it out of the park so far. I think Pacey played too. I watched. It's trauma. Also, is that a radio we can hear? Huh. Okay, give me more ammo game. That was a difficult boss fight. Like We generally got through a bunch of our ammo there. We both played free, my favourite. Yeah, free is fantastic. I can't argue with that. I think uh, my favourite will always be this one. Just because of its style and how different it is to the other games. But 3 and 1 are also really good. Four, I used to like it a lot, but then I saw Maelstrom play it, and then I realised it's a it's a mid game. <laughs> yep, here we are, chat. Also, four was the room, right? Yeah, it's the one with oh oh, hello. It's the one where you spend most of the time first person in, in the room. What am I looking at right now? Can I walk into this? That's not game. Game, no. Game, no. No, 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 game. Don't do that. So, yeah, this place is weird, right? So, a bit of behind the scenes chat. The historical society was meant to be the third area. So, you had a prison. But they realized they didn't have, like, the budget or time to really fully make a, new, a third area. So, what Team Silent did is they just reused a bunch of assets and they may turn th this old place into a, just a complete nightmare of just going down into the depths of insanity. And I think it really worked out for them because this is my favourite part of the game. It's like the Majora's Mass Effect where that game was uh, really good despite being rushed. They just used as many assets as they could to make a really solid experience. But yeah, Silent Hill 3 is great. I would love a remake of it. I don't think it needs a remake as much as t this one did. Because it still is aged pretty well, I would say. Compared to the other Silent Hills. Silent Hill 4 has not aged well. Game, I don't think you can go down there. Oh, <laughs> Why is the sound design Bloober? Bloober! Silly sausages. Strange Wall, yes. Great label. I love James's labels in this game. Especially when he goes to the other world and sees like this horrible torture contraption and he just waits to see what James calls it on the map. Like, strange device. Electrocution chamber. Strange dummy. Oh, okay, the best scene in the game is about to happen, chat. Maria? Maria! I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt? 
Not at all, silly. But then they... It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator and then... James. What are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James? Honey? Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? <laughs> I'm not your Mary. Ooh. <laughs> so you are Maria. I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. Doesn't matter who I am. Look at those like he's not blinking, chat. Oh no, he's blinking. Here for you, James. <sighs> See? I'm real. Are you real though? Don't you want to touch me? This is like really creepy. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you happen to make up your mind. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I, uh, In our special place. I'll find some way to... I'll come back, I promise. Shit. I can't believe we had those scenes almost back to back. I can't handle that level of like creative genius from Bloober. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's my favorite scene in the in the original game. I love how weird and eerie it is, like Maria being behind the prison in the behind the prison cell behind bars. How um, she obviously isn't acting like Maria, but she's also not acting like Mary. And then you have the line, I'm not your Mary, which is terrifying. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, I love that line. It's in my, like, probably top couple of, like, horror movie quotes or horror game quotes ever. She had great makeup and the nails of being in a meat dimension prison. Maybe, maybe they have good, you know, makeup replaces here. You don't know. Maybe they have, a, like, a meat nail, nail salon. Um, but yeah, a lot to unpack there. Uh, mainly the fact that we're kind of seeing James like slowly lose his mind. Like he he's still pretty reasonable at this point, and I like that he is just like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> like he doesn't really know what's happening, but he also does not say he never says no to that person's advances. They just like they just kind of shove it away, and poor James over here. Trying his best, despite the difficult situations abode. Now we've got this lovely room. Oh! I love the silent keep their sanity for so long, I lose my mind within the first five minutes. I think I would too. James loves revealing stuff with a cloth. He's done this like 15 times in this game now. Ah, yes. This is normal. This is very normal, Jame. Cool, so can we go back into Maria's room? I just thought about that. Let's give that a go. Completely normal puzzle. Indeed. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't actually think I could go back into here. How's it going?
he's singing the song that appears in the hotel, the lullaby song later on in the game. Time to die, Maria. Oh, okay, right. Can't use my gun. Got it. I love how all my maps have become like grunge, grunge maps now. Yeah, all the grunge maps. It's only the Woodside apartment maps that's like normal now. Everything else is just screwed over. Mmm, some juicy maps. What if I told you, chat, that like there is a whole other area after this? We're like, we're not even close. I would say we're getting closer, but we're still got a good chunk of the game left nuts how much more game there is in this okay let's head into the cube shall we so the cube is a puzzle in the original but they've expanded on it here of course it's a lot simpler i love this though what a cool idea for a puzzle room this is also harder on hard mode how's that gonna work then new areas on hard mode The, the ambience here is fantastic. Uh, okay. I don't think I can do anything here right now. Maria. Rotating cube. Yes, James. That's what I would call that too. Now, did I just flip that the exact same way I just did that before? Or is it different now? It is different. Okay, got it. Right. Genius Nabunga strikes again, chat. Now, in the original game here, in the in the pyramid or the labyrinth, you do encounter Pyramid Head, and he cases you around a completely unscripted. And the idea of that is terrifying to me. In a 3D environment where you can't see around each corner. This is a nice door chat. Good. Okay. Game. Map. Game, why won't you go on the map? Okay, there's no map right now, chat. There's no map. We're just somewhere else. It's fine. Let me get out a bigger gun. Rotten area map. Oh god, yeah, the bugs are everywhere. Oh god, if you don't like bugs, I'm sorry, chat. No map, no problem. What's that noise? Oh, 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 my god. Oh. Little shit. I hear him. I don't think it's Pyramid Head. It did sound like Pyramid Head, but I don't think it is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no game. No. No Pyramid Head. What are you even looking at right now? Okay, right. This is a normal room. Games? What have you labelled this? I'm really curious to see what James has labelled this awful thing. Let's have a look, shall we? Suspended cake. Okay, that's pretty normal. Also, chat, if you walk in the blood, it does leave footprints behind. He is spot on. It's a suspended bloody cave, exactly. I would agree with him. I'll have some ammo. I'll have some nothing. Oh! 
It's those guys! I was wondering what those noises were. So they brought them back, huh? They didn't just leave them for one area, that's cool. What am I looking at right now? Is that, that, that the cage? Or not the cage, the cube? Maybe, we've got to rotate the cube and then we can go there. Oh! Uh. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Ah! Ah! Shame. Don't kill them, there's no point. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh, actual enemies. Okay, actual enemies now. We haven't encountered an, an actual enemy in a while. <laughs> Hi! What, 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 James? What are we doing, James? Okay. We have a moment to breathe now after that old fiasco. It is worth noting the second I go through that hole over there, I won't be able to come back. So let's explore this room first before going any further. Okay. This is very normal. Tell you what, Bluebird have done a really good job on making some really grimy looking walls. The paint is just leaking off it, basically. When they put their mind to it, they can make some really gruesome looking. Okay, there's a mannequin in here, but where's the mannequin? That's the question, chat. Is it in the fridge? What's it doing in there, silly? Okay, this is a very it thing to do. Good. Yeah, I definitely want to go outside right now. But chat, we need to find out what's in the fridge, don't we? Let's go have a look. There's gonna be nothing and something out is gonna appear somewhere else. I'm gonna say that door there. No game, no. That's normal. I think you just disemboweled that fridge, James. I don't- I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I think that's acid. That cheese went bad ages ago, it seems. I was gonna make a Rob joke, but I'm gonna hold off on it. Fire starter, lighter gas. Is it a door? But my light flickered. That means there's a mannequin in here. I'm not crazy, right? Maybe I am. So we got lighter fluid now. Okay. Uh, that's helpful. I see that first aid kit. We'll get it after we do this. Not first aid kit. Nut nutrient juice uh, drink. It's delicious and nutritious. Yeah, yeah. You climb on those bugs, James. You grimy bastard. <laughs> My ear woos. Oh, Jame. Silly Sunderland. Well, that means we are done here, though. Uh, 
Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, if we want to light it up, we can, but I don't really have anything to light it up with, so I'm going to do that. There's no way we're finishing this at 18 hours. Considering the Motel 2, if it's by the length of the rest of this game, that area is going to be fucking massive. I would call the Motel the longest area in the game <laughs> as well, it's worth noting. The Motel, the Hotel, not the Motel. I don't actually mind them using the closest here. I'm glad they're being used more than they were in the original game. Motel, hotel, holiday. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'd do that. Oh. oh! My face hole! Game. Oh, game! You went the way you came, silly Billy. Okay. We're following the blood streaks right now. Well, I kind of hate this chat. I kind of hate this, actually. I, don't, I hate how dark it is. It's darker than it's ever been right now than the, than the rest of the game. Hello? Good hole. Oh, hi. You didn't even try and hide. You probably would have been an advantage here because of how dark it was. Singular shotgun shell. Why say shotgun shells then, game? Because that's one. Say shotgun shell and make me feel miserable about it. Oh, chat. You know how excited James is right now about this. He's like, oh, another hole. I love putting my hands in holes. Yes. What can you say about James? He loves a good hole. I think this is the one that has a jump scare in it, if I remember correctly. Oh. Lighter wick. That didn't have a jump scare in it, chat. Right. That doesn't explain what I meant to do right now, though. Maybe there's another thing I'll find going this way. Oh, yeah, we're not going back. Yeah, you yell at me, bitch. Oh! Oh, hello. No. No. What a grimy little lad. I love how adorable they are. Uh, we'll find out what's in there in a second, James. <laughs> I know you reacted to being in that room, but I'm not going to go in there yet. What the hell? I don't know what James saw. Oh, this unlocks that door. Okay, got it. What's in there, James? What did you see? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I do not want to deal with that right now. Thank you very much. What? 
Okay. Ah, yes, this is where a lot of people work. I know people who work here. Iron key. To be fair, the living conditions is probably better than some workplaces. At least you have a light. You get the whole room to yourself. Yes, you may get tetanus. Yes, you may get lung infection from all the black, mo black mold. But who cares? I used to live in, uh, back in the uni accommodation chat, I used to live in a place that was overall pretty good. Like, deposit-wise, it, it it was only £250, and I got all my bills involved in the actual the price of the, one, of the one place I was living at. But the worst part of it was that in the shower room, there was this massive patch on the ground of black mould. And I have no idea how it got there, because it just seems erratic. It's just appearing in one part of the room. So... Yeah, I lived with that for a fair bit because no matter what I did, I couldn't get rid of it. I tried black mold remover, I tried bleach, I tried all sorts of things. And I just started to think I was cursed. And I got very paranoid that I would eventually like get lung like a lung disease from not dealing with it. But nothing happened of it, so I guess it was fine. Maybe it will like fuck me later on in life, but that was a a strange Silent Hill thing that I had in my actual apartment. <laughs> Anyway, before we head in there, James, I'm going to go pop to the bathroom so you can just stare at this door. It's worth noting, chat, as someone who has dealt with black mold in the past, that if you do have black mold in your house, even if it's a very minute amount, get rid of it. Because those create spores that do enter your lungs and do cause damage. So buy some black mold remover and get rid of it. <laughs> Be like James. Be part of Silent Hill Cleaning Co Company. You can clean your other world right now. Watch James get rid of the black mold in his body. You know, yeah, it's, it's a case of even if James survives, he's still going to have a lot of, like, health issues leaving this place. Like, he's going to go to a doctor clinic and they're going to be like, what, what happened, James? Oh. Uh-oh. Internet's fucked. What happened? I left for like two seconds. Give me a sec, chat. Okay. Seems to have resolved itself. We'll see. Why am I getting pre-rolls right now? I should not be getting pre-rolls. Chat. I don't know what happened. So, let's continue. I'm not going to make too big of a deal out of it, because it's been happening a lot today. We're sorry to inform you, Flower, but your internet tower has exploded. It's been silent healed. No, that's boiling water, James. That's boiling water, James! James! No! No! You see this pipe, James? We're going to go drain that bitch before even attempting that. Oh, lovely. What a lovely room. That's a new thing. Incoming ad break. Incoming ad break. Oh my god, there's like two ad breaks coming up in like two seconds. What the fuck? There you go, James. Look at that. You fixed it. And now you can grab it without putting your hand in boiling water. So we combine this with this and this. And we get a lighter. Just like Billy in Resident Evil Zero. The best game. There's a puzzle in Resident Evil Zero that you wouldn't know how to do because you don't realise that both Billy and Rebecca have personal items. So in that game, when you're trying to do stuff and you're trying to work out things to do, there's this puzzle, basically, where it's like, okay, I need to light this torch. How do I do this? Billy has a personal item that's a lighter. Why the devs didn't, like, I don't know, tell the player that? I have no idea. 
Maybe they wanted the players to work out on their own. Good job, game. Good job. We can add uh, being a pyro to your uh, list of crimes. Oh. Well, we've got another hole to jump down. Oh. Wait, we're not joking. We're actually going down there. Okay. Uh, just jump down the hole, James. It'll be fine. I'll be back. Have fun jumping in scary ass holes. Nothing scary about this hole. James just does it. He doesn't care what happens to him. He just, he just he has no care for his own survivability. Where are we now? Because I don't think Maria's around us anymore. Wasn't that your plan here, James? To save Maria? Uh, what? But what did that do? I know what I'm doing, chat, definitely. Don't tell me you just put another, no another notification on Discord. Flower bot, I'm gonna, I don't know, suplex you if you have. Uh, right, but what, what, what is that? Can I go to the strange wall now? Is that possible? Also, the chat, this wasn't here before. Maybe it was? I don't remember this. A big column being here. Might be wrong, though. God, what an awful corridor. I don't want to go down there ever. Maybe I can go to my ear cell now. I don't really know what I did with that. Let's go back to the room. Maybe the cage fell down here and I could pick it up. Nope. Okay, can't go back. Maria? I solved the puzzle. You still over here? Hi. Hey, you keep humming your creepy song. I'll be back for you momentarily, don't worry. The game still calls her Maria. Which I kind of wish they didn't. I wish they just like, they did a question mark, question mark, question mark, but it's fine. I think I did triangle before. Well, you say that, but there's no way up with triangle. Darn it, James. Huh. There's no door there anymore. Weird. Is there a door over there? Yeah, there is. Okay, we need to work out how to get reach that location, huh? Well, we're trying to find a big hole that can allow us to get in there. That, that maybe? No. You can see where the golden light is. Well, oh, that might be it. Actually, that, that's a new symbol. Aha! Nice, okay, got it. This is cool, I like how they're using the cube as a means to get to the other areas. It's kind of like what they do with the scale puzzle. I don't think the scale puzzle was in the original game, though. 
I wonder what awful thing is going to be this way. Something lovely, I'm betting. Hello? Desolate area. Well, I'm going to hold you to that game. Oh, fucking... Oh. That's not desolate. That's an enemy. Desolate means nothing. Nothing should be here. That's not nothing. Uh-oh. How awful. How truly terrible. Also, I like how blue it is here. Very different style to go for. I didn't try that door. I don't like that noise. It sounds like someone's grinding a, a, like a knife. Which would make sense. This is Pyramid Head's domain. I find it very weird in the original game. You can just find Pyramid Head's like stash. Where he does stuff on his own. Oh no. I think this is it. I think we're going to finally encounter him. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow, you actually got past the bot. Congratulations. You get a reward for that. Put move to space. For fuck's sake. Hey, game! That was their mannequin noise from neutral game. Oh, that's cute. Nice. Right. It's time to go down into Pyramid Head's domain in the original game chat. In the labyrinth, you go down into a basement area to get to other parts of the of the location, and it involves being chased by a pyramid man. Also, apparently, I entirely blinded where that ladder was. I don't see this game cutting it out, so I'm worried. Oh, I'm very worried. That's not so bad. That's the only thing down here I don't mind. But I don't think it is. Oh. Oh. Also, it's chugging down here, like, performance-wise. I don't know why, but it is. High fidelity rocks. I'm just glad there's a map down here. I don't think there was a map in the original game for the sewer level. Also means there's a mannequin nearby because it flashed. What? There's gonna be more than one sewer. It's only a part of the map. You could hear him. 
And, you, and they have to keep just here to signify that he's nearby as well, of course. What the fuck? How does that work then? You're not going to be a problem, are you? No, 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 no. Get out of here. Leave. Leave me alone. <laughs> I hate them. I really do not like them. Hey, 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 hey. Like, Bloober was sitting down in the design room where they were like, how do we make a new type of enemy that will utilize the 3D environment a lot better than, than the original game did? Oh yeah, I know. Let's give a different version of the mannequins who become little spiders on the ground. No! What terrible idea! Who thought of this? Was it you? Nabunga? I bet it was. He's always on all these games, making terrifying or bad decisions and I hate it I won't stand for it any longer <laughs> speaking of that let's go down this ladder I'm sure good things await us hello Silly mannequin. Why? Oh. Oh! Game! Game! Lovely. I don't like these holes. I don't enjoy that at all, especially when dealing with spider enemies. You need bad tricks on that, buddy. Ow! Okay. Talk shit, you get shit. Constantly on edge. And it's not even like the game doing that, it's just because I played the original. I feel like he's going to show up, but I don't know if he is. I don't know if Bloober would program that in, if they would just put the time in to do that. Like, Bloober have been pretty faithful so far. But I could see them doing it. Just for a gag. Oh, right, okay, got it. That's what that's for. Oh, I don't like the idea of a turning system in a fixed chase sequence, actually. You know, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Good. Thank you. 
the most intense of puzzles, chat. We have to let go and then go behind it. Oh! Crazy. Crazy game design. Oh my god, Bloober. Calm down. They're just constantly not missing, are they? Oh, no, ironically, they are not missing at all in this game. Singular. It's not rifle rounds, is it, in game? It's rifle round. Don't use the plural on me like that, because it isn't the plural. There's no plural to be had. The sadness. Well, thank you, game. I appreciate that shortcut. Why am I going to need a shortcut, though? <laughs> There's going to be no... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What do you mean, no items? Mm-mm. 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 Hmm. If I was a horror does case sequence designer, I would make a lot of looping islands so the players could get away from the scary thing chasing you. But why would... Oh, hi. Okay. He's got his knife! I want this knife! Hold on a second, Pyramid Head. You might have your, your spear here. Oh, God! Oh. Find his room. Lovely room you've got here, Pyramid Head. Ooh! Put the wall down. James, do it. James! Ah! Ah! Game! I didn't realise he could go into his own room! Ah! I'm scared now. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Where is he? James, put your flashlight on for fuck's sake. We're not playing conservation. Oh! 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 Hi! How's it going? You just chilling out in here? Uh, good! I need to go there! What's he doing? He's glitching out! Buddy, I need to go to the wall! Go in, go in. James, go in. James, go in! Goodbye, fucker. Can't get to me here, can you, buddy? Lol. Hi, how's it going? I'm just gonna climb this. Love the music here. Oh, I'm so glad he's here, though. I'm glad he cases you. These nurses always look really unhappy to be walking around here. Ow, where? Oh, well, there's two of them here. Oh, God! Stop! Get off me! Pooey! Ow! I wait for the fumes to go away, the smells, and then we can continue on. There we go. Ooh. How awful. How absolutely grotesque. I'll be having that. 
I love how open this area is. I also hate how open it is at the same time. Okay, there's a save point back here. Let's go to the save point. Oh. Map-wise, how am I getting back there? Because if it was, was going to be a maze, it would be this place I've been to so far. Right. Pyramid Head is so rude. Here I was, minding my own business, and then he appears out of nowhere and whacks me with a giant knife. It's just not nice of him. In the slightest. Oh, there is another ladder we need to go climb, unfortunately, so we're not done here yet. And we still need to work out why we're even here in the first place. Yay. Good ammo. There you go, James. You worked out why you came here. Good job, buddy. Before we use the bolt cutters, there's another ladder we need to climb. Which does mean we need to encounter your boy again. But he might get glitched again like he did in that other room. He was just killing out at his actual house. Maybe he wanted to show James his house and James wasn't giving him the time of day. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. Who did that? Oh, God, there's cloches here too! Oh, not to add even worse things to this fucking area, but why don't we have cloches as well? Oh, what an absolute nightmare. Oh, piss and balls! James? James, climb the ladder. James, James, climb the ladder, James. How terrible. Oh, you're right. You're right. You survived. Just about. Have that last nutrient drink. That's going to help you out. There you go, James. Enjoy. We only got full heals now, which to be fair, is not a bad situation to be in. Whole world ahead of us. Good picture. Good picture. Yes. Oh, yes. Did it for four hang and bullets and a swing. Actually, it probably was worth doing. And I was bound to come up here anyway, just because it was another route I, I, I was going to go. There's no way I'm going to skimp out on routes in this game, even if I die. I'm loving this too much for that. Right, you need to jog, jog, James. There you go, there you go, James. There you go. What a magnificent boy you are. I don't like that noise. I don't need to deal with that noise. In fact, I'm going to leave. Good job, James. Good job. Fast wire cutter. You could be a wire cutter person in your next life or your heist man. Wait, we're going further down. No, 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 no. There's no map down here. I know there's. Game. I don't like this game. I don't like this at all. Never hold a jump down. Be back in the room. I think we are. Yay! We did it. That's the second one done. I'll say that one was much worse. Let's go see how Mui is doing. Is this on before? Mm -hmm. 
There you go, James. I like how that also removes the muck on his on his clothes. Nutrient drinks, drinks are very powerful, chat. They can just remove all the muck and also make you feel much better. Right. Where are we going next? Down, okay. Couldn't you jump down there, James? No. He only wants to jump down holes that are going to lead to his death. Otherwise, he wants to not be able to see the bottom. Okay, that, that, that just made it more impossible to get to. Hmm. Confusion. We've already done that one. It might be this one. Yeah, I think it is actually. Do not want to fall down there, James. What? <sighs> Wait. God damn it. <laughs> Very close, but no cigar, unfortunately. To be honest, like the, the structure is so big and so varied that trying to work out where it is by any given direction is kind of difficult, I'd say. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, we need something that kind of like appears in one of the corners and that's what we'll put on the right of it. So it needs to appear on the left corner. I heard two bleakers appear. Uh, what? Oh! Yay! Don't got a handgun bullet. Bullet? It did say handgun ammo. It didn't say handgun ammos. Which you wouldn't use as a plural anyway, to be fair. a new route, at the very least. A new route that leads absolutely goddamn nowhere.
Darn it, James. <laughs> How the fuck did we get to this last location? You can't look into the thing either. Oh, hold on. It actually shows what symbol it is. So we're looking for the diagonal, which is there. Just show where the symbols are at the very least. That that's it. That should work. Because it's got the symbol. There we go. Okay. Just had to use a symbol and not try and narrow it. Got it. I think it's because I already thought that that one didn't work, but I think I used the, the uh, upside down triangle, not the right side up one. Haven't I been here before? Ooh. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we keep going back to that room, but it's a different door every single time. No. No. I thought I was going to get chased by the red mist from Silent Hill 3 for a second there, but nope. Nothing happened. That wasn't okay. That was really mean. This is a new section. To be fair, there's been mostly new sections here. The Labyrinth is quite short in the original game. It's only that pyramid head section, the law, the angular bit, and then the Maria cutscenes, really. And they have the uh, hanging puzzle there, too. Which I think punishes you by putting you in the pyramid head tra uh, chamber in the original. So you don't want that, for the most part. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 get off me. Fucking hell. Oh, you just need to survive. You don't have to actually complete it. The fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't like this area. This is weird. You can tell this is a, a more original area, I think. Not that it breaks the atmosphere of the other ones. This is a little different, I think. Like, kill, kill, kill before he does anything. Give some HP. Uh oh. This part's gonna be fun on hard mode.
give me a set game. After you brutalize me, let me at least have a break. A new section. The combat gauntlet. I don't mind it, to be fair. I kind of wish you could do these three areas in whatever order you wanted to, but it is quite linear. Same with the uh, prison. Maybe it's different in each game. Maybe like, they randomize it. That'd be kind of cool. Because this has kind of followed a very similar... Like, a lot of these areas have kind of followed very similar sequences where we go through the location and then... Out of nowhere, boom, we now have three different wait, wait, ways we go, like go into the uh, three different chambers in the prison, the three areas here, the clocks in the apartment building, the hospital is probably the one I felt the most linear, but also I don't mind that because it made the hospital feel bigger as well. Oh. Oh, no! There's closers here too! Right, we're just going to outrun this one, I think. I got an idea. We'll just keep doing this over and over again. They can't hit me while I'm doing this animation. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Genius game design. Google, yeah, game. Yeah, game. I came in to see Flower Keaton. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> now, this is me assuming it is, it is timed. And I, I, I think it is, because the first one was timed, definitely. You're doing a good job right now, game. Uh, chat, I don't think it's timed. But we're just going to keep doing this over and over again. Yeah, okay, I think we need to kill that thing. Okay, got it, game. But I haven't killed a closer before. Stop! No! Okay. Oh, it's you. Okay, you were causing all the noise. Ow! Wait. Okay, I know you're... Okay, we're good. I'd be wondering, chat, flat, chat, why? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's happening? Might be wondering, chat, why I'm now safe. It's because that alarm was causing the enemies to come back. So we are now good. We can just grab all the ammo here that we we cheated our way to get. And we're done. I think they wanted me to kill a couple of them, but not all of them. So at least the closer. Which I did kill. Enemy is not coming back anytime soon. Oh no, why is there a save point here? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh oh. Okay, I think we're about to encounter some scary shit. So let's just do that. And let's do this. Right. At least the walls are metal now. Nothing bad can happen to metal walls, as we know. Well, that's not fair, is it? <laughs> Team, get around him! What's going on? Go, 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 go! Um, what? Oh, they're gone now. Oh, now you leave! Go! Oh. Team! Get <laughs> Pyramid Head! What are you doing, Pyramid Head? There we go, let me pass. 
Can I go in here? What am I doing here? Oh, we we back. Can I cannot do it while I'm looking at it? I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm just okay. Right, right, right. Okay, right. I I, I don't know what happened there. I can't even explain that because I didn't happen in the original. Oh, oh yeah, right. Sorry, game. Three. Mm-hmm. I think he just realized. Yeah, she's definitely a lot more mangled in this than she was in the original. Just covered in blood. Yeah, the implication now is, like, nothing attacked her. Pyramid Head didn't get her. She was just, like, at this point, a manifestation of... James's nightmares, and in that case, Mary lying on her deathbed was something that terrified him. What the hell? Oh, this music. No! Oh, can I have the knife? Excuse me? No, I don't think I can. Oh my god, no, never mind. <laughs> I got it, chat. I got the knife. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming for you, Eddie. <laughs> Can I save the knife? No, I sh should have saved beforehand, but it's fine. I think Pyramid Head was the one that was scaring away in his hands, which is why he, him coming near me was what caused him to disappear, which means this knife is going to be useful here. I don't think this is an actual weapon in this game, but it's cool that they at least included it here. It does not control very well though, I will say. How does James know how to do this? That's my question. I mean, he watched Pyramid Head do it, I guess. You can drop the weapon now, James. There you go. Oh. It's a shame it's not a weapon, but I don't mind. Right, if we have a look at Mary's photo now... It's still Mary. Okay. Like I said, part of getting a good ending is looking at Mary's photo a lot. So I've been doing that a fair bit. At least in the original game, it might be different here. But I don't know how much they've changed the criteria. I know they consulted some Silent Hill 2 experts with this game. Bluebird consulted some uh, pretty famous um, commentary people for 2. And people who have spent a lot of time making video essays for it. Well, I mean, I know what this is. 
But yeah, we're in a graveyard now. This Felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Wait, Felon? Did I say? Felon! Uh, flower? Felon. Miriam K. Traitor. Water. Put your grave away, Water. That's a cute little Santa Hill 4 reference. Right, another small break chat, and then we're gonna go in here, and probably whatever happens down here is where we're gonna call it. Right, I'll see you guys in a, in a second. Alright chat, let's go down the grave and see what happens. It's not the end of the game by the way, uh, there's more after this. But uh, Angela Orozco, Orozco? Eddie Dombrowski. James Sunderland. Note that Laura's name is not here. But they all have graves that could be filled here. But not James. James is about to do something very metaphorical. <laughs> He's going to jump down his own grave. The mood is getting more intense as we do this. I love this song so much. Very depressing, but also a little bit spooky as well at the same time. It's what Silent Hill 2 is, basically. <coughs> That's the last hole we jump down, chat. The last of many holes. Eddie? You down here, Eddie? First, we continue descending down. I can. I. I would love to watch someone's first time going through this, like seeing Silent Hill 2 in a remake fashion. Because you know the original still exists. There is the enhanced edition, which is very good. But I recommend people playing this as well. It's not too bad. Uh oh. Hi. Couldn't leave well enough alone, huh? You just had to follow me all the way out here. How many times do I have to kill you? Eddie. Whoa, Eddie. It's me. It's me. Oh. Uh. Hi, Eddie. Hi, James. How's it going? Eddie. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit! You make me sick! You gonna cry, fat ass? You gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin! Why don't you just kill yourself? Hmm. Well... Maybe he was right. Maybe I am. I'm nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? Average 80 school but bully He's look. Smart, I think it's the opposite as well, dumb, which is great. <laughs> ugly, pretty, it's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. Eddie. What's that? You want to talk down to me some more? Tell me to relax? You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want to. Shut up! Oh. You think I'm stupid. You think I don't see it. But you've been laughing at me all along. Ever since we first Eddie, met. I just wanted to have pizza with you. What's wrong with you that? You're laughing now, are you? <coughs> Whoa, James! Whoa! Whoa! I need help, Eddie. Silent Hill is not a good therapy don't tool. Don't on me, James. <laughs> oh, shit. This town called you, too. <laughs> Oh. You and me, we're the same. We're not like other people, don't you know that? Oh my god, he said the anime line. Uh, well. Let's party! As he says in the original game, and it's really dumb. I really hope he doesn't say that here. Oh. 
Uh, note that this person looks a lot like James. Does have a different coloured jacket and outfit. Just like the original. So, yeah, we're going to go fight Eddie now. That scene was a little different. I don't mind the change. In the original, it was like the way they look at me uh, in their eyes. That's how I know that they hate me. And then he says that James has given him that same look. But to be fair, Eddie, you're kind of crazy. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you hate it, picked on, spit on. Just because of the way. Are you upside walk? down? Yeah, I ran away after I killed that dog. But you know what? It was fun. It had to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. Because <laughs> oh, it's just like now the original. It's your turn, James. Let's party! Oh, 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 oh! oh. Yeah, Eddie, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God, I did a lot of damage! Holy shit! Yeah, James? James? Hey, hide behind the meat. No, you can't. You're, you're a terrible shot, Eddie. I got a rifle, you got a pistol. Ah! I'm a terrible shot too! <laughs> Get over here, Eddie. I'm gonna hit you with my baseball bat. Come here, you little shit. Yay! Da 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 Eddie, get out of here, you shit! Ow! Ow! How can you sit there and eat pizza? There you are. Ow, my leg. This is not an easy thing to shoot with, chat. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're a really bad shot, Eddie. Oh, Ow! Scared, ain't you? I can spend a bit more time aiming, I think. Is that it? <laughs> oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Eddie? 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 Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ow! That's very funny, haha. <laughs> you can hear him reloading. How do you see me in this fog? Does he not have... Oh, he doesn't have melee anymore. Wait, does he? Wait, hold on. Okay, get, you can only get one shot on him before he runs away. Bo's got 40-40 vision. He really does. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Eddie, you're scaring me! I got a rifle, Eddie. I don't need to be at close. Wait, hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, what's happening now? Alright, well, it's not shotgun time. 
Which is probably the best weapon to use here, to be fair. Ah, Eddie, no! I'll kill you, James. I'm quite aware of that, Eddie. This is a very goofy boss fight, but I do love it. I'm glad they kept this in. I like how they're using the meat as like shields. Oh, Eddie. Killed a human being. Yeah, let me shoot him again. Oh, well, Maddy. Maybe we can get pizza together again in the afterlife, huh? Right, well, that was a fun descent, chat. We surely are at the bottom of the lake now, right? It's going to be a lengthy ascent, but we've got some time. We can do that. Or not. 